All of you who expect me to address a lie, you can log off. I ain't come to convince you or nobody, because I know who I am. I want to give you all a quick update. I told you before, about three weeks ago, yeah, about three weeks ago, there was a video that we did just kind of covering the whole issue with T.D. Jakes. We didn't say, did not say that he is guilty or not guilty or anything like that. As a matter of fact, didn't even want to speculate that, except to say that you should not be found in the company of certain people. And when certain things happen, don't be surprised if you get bit by the same thing that they get bit by. Remember, there is no reason, no point for us to have these relationships with the world. Does that mean that we should not be around the world in terms of um, trying to bring them to Christ? Sure. People will also make the statement, though, that Jesus entertained sinners. Jesus hung out with the sinners. No, he did not. Jesus went to the sinners to bring them to him. Jesus went to the sinners to preach righteousness to him. Jesus went to the sinners to preach repentance to them. He did not go to the sinners to be like them. He went to the sinners to convert them. And we don't see that oftentimes with people like a T.D. Jakes. But the video uh, that we put out uh, was taken down because they told YouTube that there was a copyright infringement and they intend to sue. There's a problem with that, though. One, that's a lie in two ways. One, they did not have any intention on suing, but they merely wanted to have the videos taken away. When you file a copyright claim, you're stating that I think this is an infringement on my rights and I am I mean to sue um, if the person doesn't bring it down. That's the whole point of a copyright claim because you feel like you've been violated. Also, the problem is, though, that the Bible is clear. If there are two Christians that have an issue then there cannot be, it cannot be resolved by the lawsuit of the courts. If we go to 1 Corinthians chapter 6, from verses 1 all the way down to uh, verse 8, we see that we don't have any business in um, having these issues amongst our, amongst or settled amongst ourselves with the, with the courts. We should settle them amongst ourselves. He says, but brother goes to law with brother and that before unbelievers, he's questioned that we shouldn't do that. Well, that was the first issue. But the second issue is that it was not true. They were not going to uh, file an actual lawsuit in court. One didn't make any sense. Um, but their whole point is to make this go away. Well, there's a passage that the Bible says that brings up. I think this comes this comes to mind. This is Proverbs 28. One, he says that uh, the wicked flee when no one is pursuing. No one's really after you. No, and I was not trying to bring him down. I'm not interested in bringing him down. As a matter of fact, you cannot bring another person down. That's only on God. Our job is to warn if there is danger. And now I was not warning about him being in danger of whatever was going on with this particular scandal. But the issue is just warning him, not necessarily him, but others about the dangers of being around people in the world. But the righteous are bold as a lion. If you're not guilty, don't act guilty. Avoid the very appearance of sin. Avoid looking like you're guilty. Avoid looking like you're in something, but also um, don't even be around certain people. Avoid that appearance as well. Don't go to the clubs. Don't go to these parties. Don't go to these different things and be around certain people and entertain certain people. Why? Because you'll now become associated with them. Listen, bad company does corrupt. That is biblical. And so if you're not influencing Diddy or whomever else, well then they will in inevitably influence you. And we don't see any sign of the people that he's been around them being influenced. So some of you might see the video up. YouTube put it back up after I think it was 10 business days. They had to respond to state that, yes, we're going to court uh, because of the holidays. 10 business days was really more like almost three weeks. And so that was the reason for the delay. And like he's done with other videos, if you say anything that critiques him, uh, or the ministry, obviously, it's not T.D. Jakes himself that's pushing a button, but but his team is being led by his direction. Make no mistake about that. And so this is happening to kind of quiet anything that's negative or appears to be negative uh, or that's not kind to him. Let's go ahead and make sure that let's do our best to make that go away. Because in some cases, many people just say, yeah, you know what, fine, I'll take the copyright strike. But uh, I wasn't going to take the copyright strike for free because, one, I understand how the copyright rules work. And also, I don't have a problem with, with filing a counter motion if we were to go to court, which I had no no um, belief that they were going to do so because it costs entirely too much to do that over this one little small video. 
but what they're doing is they're going from all to all of these different videos pointing out this is ours this is our material this is our material this is our material and so you'll see hundreds of videos that have been taken down a lot of them will come back a lot of them won't but there'll be these copyright strikes on these uh, different creators accounts which I think is wrong also but again just to kind of give you guys an update and let me just be clear I don't warn people to stay away from TD Jakes because of this scandal nope could care less about the scandal uh, the scandal if it's true and it comes out and find we find out that it is true it's gonna hurt a lot of people that follow him remember 40,000 50,000 people will tune in every Sunday morning and listen to his broadcast so that's 40 50,000 folks that are being deceived not because of this but because he has horrible doctor because he has horrible theology he's a person that holds this oneness doctrine he's a person that believes that uh, he preaches this kind of prosperity gospel believes that you can owe or have God owe you by paying your tithes all these different things he speaks in certain ways to make you think that you have some super great blessing coming just by having faith God is going to bless every last one of you no one in his purview or in his vicinity is going to suffer because you're going to call things that are not as though they were. And then even what he does with his with his daughters and his family and so forth, a lot of a lot of red flags, a lot of problematic things that he says. And that's the reason why you should never have any dealings or listen to T.D. Jakes, not because of the whole T P D stuff. That part, if it's true, yeah, it makes sense. If it's not true. Oh, well, still, God will deal with him with the doctrinal issues also. Amen.